Hi everybody, welcome back to our weekly Chasing Psychological Safety video series. This week we are here to talk to you about organisational permission. The idea of organisational permission of course is that we as organisations, as teams, as team leaders give people space and time to be able to do the work that needs to get done. Often what we see and what we observe is that the focus and the default position is to always think about the technical work, is to always be so busy doing the um, delivery work, so busy doing the stuff that seems to be urgent, um, seems to be important, that we don't always focus on and prioritize and give permission for the human work, the work that reduces our human debt, which we talk to you about so often, same as technical debt, but on the human side, and reducing all of the debt that we've built up over the past decades with regards to our people and how they operate. So what we really wanted to return to, because it's so important and we see it with teams and we see it with teams particularly at the moment, because we're all hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic and teams have been working so, so hard to deliver under such difficult circumstances that now we're seeing that perhaps some of that permission has slipped away. There was tons of permission to begin with, and now some of that permission is starting to slip away again. And what we really, really wanted to reinforce and re-emphasize and get everyone just to take a minute to think about is the damage that is done when we don't focus on the human side of things, when we don't focus on building psychological safety for our teams, when we don't create enough psychological safety that someone's able to speak up and say, I don't feel like I can do this. I don't feel like I've got time for the human work. And when they do have the courage to speak up and say, I don't have time to do the human work, that we listen and we really see that as a warning sign and a red flag being waved. Because if someone's saying that, then it means you really need to create the time and space for it. But even before that, we need to be proactively baking it into the work that we do, proactively making it just absolutely natural that it sits alongside, not something nice we do on a Friday afternoon, but it sits alongside all of the technical work that we do. Because if we don't do the human work, we know this, we know this, we know it's hard to swallow, but if you don't do the human work, the technical work will suffer. You know, people always say, I haven't got time because of X and Y. You have got time because if you don't, what is the risk of that person burning out? What is the risk of the work not getting done? What is the risk when the deadline is not met because your team weren't in their very best health in order to be able to deliver? So organizational permission, giving it to your people, allowing them to have the autonomy to give it to each other. Um, and you know, sometimes fighting off some of those external um, demands that come in in order to create the time and space for psychological safety and great teamwork right and we you know we have to be honest at an organizational level we have to take the steps to give people the the space the mind space the permission the the support the the genuine support not just uh, some some lip service but the the real support meaning anything from you know buying them the tools to buying them the time to to offering them enough reassurance that this is something that's of value and important to you and it is obviously you know at an organization level you don't do this then you're not sustainable as an organization but so at an organization level we have to do this we all have to irrespective of the size of the organization i've just seen a comment today very astute from someone who is essentially um, self-employed and they said, well, I will give myself organizational permission to not feel bad when I take time for self-care. That in itself is organizational permission um, and it should work that way at any kind of size of any organization. But outside of that, as an individual, as a grown-up in the workplace, as a professional, it's time we admit that this entire conversation about being a robot at work is wrong. It's time we, we agree that we have to do better on self-care, that we have to do better on understanding the, the feelings of those around us, that we have to do better on comprehending the dynamic of the team. And it's time we are courageous enough to say, I don't feel like I have enough. Like Fiona said, I don't feel like I have enough organizational permission. I need more. And I don't any longer believe this to be a fluffy thing in, in, in the afternoon, but a really important thing. You have 
have to risk that um, fear of, of, of potential ridicule. You have to not impression manage uh, against looking unprofessional, which is what happens sometimes. You have to stop thinking others are going to think this is a hippie sort of move. You have to be honest and say, no, if we want to survive as a team, we have to focus on our feelings as a team, on our dynamic as a team, on our psychological safety or lack thereof. We have to be honest, we have to be courageous enough to take these conversations, and we have to do it now. So we need both organizations and people themselves to, to, um, to go back at asking for this permission and, and to not let this moment slip from their fingers. It would be a great pity. Absolutely. And what we see once teams get that permission, give themselves that permission, and they get over the hump of, wow, I can actually spend some time on this, is they, they get really excited, empowered, and addicted to having that time together and building that trust and psychological safety. So, look, we always say, come to us, you know, we've got the tool that can help you to find the space and the time and then the real value in giving the organizational permission to your teams but even if you don't come and talk to us please at the very least find a way to reprioritize the balance between technical delivery work and the human work which is going to power that work and your success ultimately thanks very much for listening thank you thanks bye, bye.